fittest in baby monitors are heading to Canada. They are uh, so-called smart monitors, and what they do is they allow you to follow your baby's breathing and movements from your smartphone. Our health reporter, Pauline Chan, is here with more. Pauline? Thank you very much, Ken and Michelle. Well, new and expecting parents are always on the lookout for the latest in devices to help take care of their precious new arrival. But some pediatricians are warning that the next generation of monitors can tell you all about a baby's breathing, but that's not necessarily a way to protect them. Breathing. They're not generally available in Canada yet, but the newest generation of baby monitors are available online. And they don't just let you watch or listen in on your baby. Vital signs like heart rate, breathing rate, some of them can do temperature, they can um, sense whether the baby's moved or rolled over and that kind of thing. And you can follow along on your smartphone. The wearable gadgets range from a baby kimono to something more like a sock. But pediatrician Dr. Jolene Huber says new parents may be loading themselves down with information without really knowing what to do with all of it. It's really important that we just focus on um, the safe sleep practices and rather than sort of using some of these um, monitors that may give us a false sense of security. Dr. Huber points out that even in hospitals, healthy babies aren't constantly monitored for things like temperature, and monitoring devices just can't prevent things like sudden infant death syndrome. She encourages parents to follow the safe sleep guidelines put together by the Public Health Agency of Canada. First of all, put the baby to sleep on their back and keep the crib clear of all kinds of clutter. That means no toys, big blankets, or even crib bumpers. And while having the baby's crib in the same room as the parents is encouraged, especially in the first six months, co-sleeping with the baby should not be done. Also, avoid exposing your baby to smoke. Smoking during pregnancy, um, smoking after a baby is born, that's probably one of the biggest uh, risk factors. The smart monitors, which sell for about $200 and up, do warn that they don't prevent SIDS, but they do play to concerns about SIDS, which is a leading cause of infant deaths in North America, claiming three babies' lives a week in Canada. We do know that safe sleep practices can help to reduce the risk, but don't alone in and of themselves prevent sudden infant death syndrome. Now, Dr. Huber says she's not against the smart baby monitors. She just wants to make sure parents are aware of what they can and can't do. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.